Okay, fight fans, fight fiends, welcome back to Manny's Thoughts. I, of course, Manny MTL or Manny Montreal. Make sure to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and obviously thefightcity.com. As usual, I'll give you guys my thoughts on what's going down in the world of combat sports. Let's get started. Okay, so usually this is the part where I'm giving out my congratulations. It was an uneventful fight week, and the one dude I told you guys to look out for, Julius Jackson, got dispatched quite early to the point where I wonder where all the hype came from. Now, uh, this ain't saying that he didn't get caught, because he did, but I am saying I'm going to have to learn how to pronounce Usteka Guy's name for real. Now, uh, considering it was an uneventful fight week, Let's look at this week and the coming weeks. So first off, what's going on on the FightCity.com this week? Well, as usual, great articles and posts on the daily for you guys to check out. It is a massive fight week, especially for us Montreal fight fans. And the Fight City is obviously going to respond to your needs on that one. Make sure you check it out. We're going to have some great stuff about Luce Bute, David Lemur, Gennadine Golovkin, and more. Now, um, this also leads me to uh, something a little further down the road that I want to talk about. Going down in Repatsingi, Quebec, Rumble in Repatsingi, just a short drive outside of Montreal, Grant Brothers, Rick Sar, and BMP Productions present an excellent night of fights, a terrific card, for all us fight fans, going down October 24th, I believe some tickets are still available. You guys need to call the number on the screen and find out, or go to admissions.com. The number is 514-421-1459. Make sure you go get your tickets now, because there's only about two weeks left, and I guarantee you that baby is going to be jam-packed. Now, BMP has put on some shows before, and, well, they sell out their crowds, and so do the Grand Brothers. And uh, on the card, we have the People's Champ defending his title, the last Boy Scout, Francis Lafreniere. We've got Renan Sengis, Young Phenom, Eric Bazinian, Alvin Tan, Dwayne Durrell, Golden Garcia, Flavius Bia, amongst many others. It is a jam-packed card for us fight fans. Make sure you get your tickets now. Give them a call. Go to admissions.com. Make sure you go check it out. It's going down at Complex Sportif Gilles Tremble, October 24th. Now, uh, to get back to the present time. Obviously, as I mentioned, the Fight City is going to be covering the tremendous, historic fight, which will be David Lemire versus Golovkin. Now, um, I've got some news. I am about 95% sure I'll be going to New York for this Saturday's fight. I've got all my paperwork filled out, and I've gotten all my responses. Now it's basically just a question of money and time. Guys, I really need all of you to wish me well, and hopefully I'll be there live and in person to see history go down. Now, uh, a lot of people are comparing this fight to Hagler Hearns, or even when Hagler fought Duran and how fighting Duran made him a star. First off, Triple G is already a star. Everyone should emphasize the size of David Lemure's nuts on this one. Because this is what people tend to forget. Number one, this is his first title defense. Name me a guy out there that wanted to fight Triple G, let alone defend his title for the first time against Triple G. Then on top of that, he's going to try and unify every title. Then on top of that, providing he wins, he's going to meet the victor of Canelo versus Cotto. That takes gravitas, my friends. It takes tremendous stones and belief in oneself. Now, I don't think David Lemieux would take this fight if he didn't think he had a shot. Now, that's what's more important than any, you know, professional or expert or ex-anything or even journalist that could give you their opinion. Because the truth is, plenty of things can happen. This is a fight. And that's the bare basics of it, people. We're all going there based on that same principle. What if? Now, you see, here's the thing. 
A lot of people forget things. Like, Bernard Hopkins once went there as an underdog against Trinidad. And Trinidad was like as bad as they came at the time. Nobody talked bad about Trinidad. Kind of like Triple G. And Bernard outworked them. Now, I don't think Lemieux is going to outwork Triple G. And with a lot of people, I do agree that this is going to be a short fight. However, I do think David Lemieux has a shot. He has a serious shot. See, I don't bet on fights because I don't believe in odds. Um, odds are made to be broken, people. That's the whole idea. Now, uh, I'm hopefully going to be there to witness this whole thing. I've been writing my very first actual piece based on this subject because, I mean, it's as big as they come for at least my generation. The guys that grew up here in Montreal know David Lemire very well. Um, I would, I would venture to say that, uh, for Montreal boxing fans, as far as punchers, as far as toughness is concerned, maybe Artur Gatti might hold the crown above him. But otherwise, David Lemieux was already well respected and will now be so infamously respected, regardless of winning or losing this fight, because he stepped up to the plate. Now, uh... Oddly enough, another little Arturo note I wanted to make, just uh, by happenstance. Arturo Gatti, the last guy to go defend his title for the first time at Madison Square Garden from Montreal. Just a little fact for you guys, I've been doing my homework. Um, okay, so now that leads me to what's going on this week. What can we watch? What can we watch before and after the Lemire Golovkin fight? And I guess for some of you that won't be getting the pay-per-view or might be stuck at work, I'll give you some other options. So, uh, first off, this Tuesday, I want to mention, check it out on the FightCity.com, obviously. Toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe Tuesdays. It's the last one, I think, for 2015. PBC's put on some half-decent cards for a Tuesday night. I've been happy with them. And uh, honestly, this one looks like it's going to be a great Tuesday night because, well, number one, it's heavyweights. Number two, both of them have high KO ratios. And number three, there's only one loss between them both. Now, uh, Amir Mansour versus Gerard El Gallo Negro, Washington. Now, uh, truth is, I like saying his nickname, but I'm picking Mansour for this one. He's 10 years older than his opponent, but uh, when the man hits, the man connects the man puts people to sleep it's as simple as that now um i predict a knockout on a tuesday so i'm a happy boy on that one friday 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 we on the internet we've got legacy 47 on spike we've got pbc on spike the fanfara cleverly fight now that's only remotely interesting because the winner of that fight might actually get a showdown with adonis now um this leads me to Saturday night. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go to the meat and potatoes right away. Uh, on the net, if you're stuck somewhere that doesn't have pay-per-view, I guess you guys can watch King of the Cage. That's going down. Also on the Fight Network, this one I'll be recording through my DVR. we got World Series of Fighting 24, uh, Fitch versus Okami. It's a solid card. I like what World Series of Fighting has been doing lately. Um, at least DVR it, because most of us will be watching HBO Boxing at Madison Square Garden. Now, um, yes, I've been talking about the main event a lot, but let me give you a little bit of the undercard. Now, um, there's a big undercard, but I'm just going to give you some highlights. A uh, name I saw in there that I think you guys should look out for, Lamont Roach Jr. He's 8-0. He's fighting a Jose Bustos that doesn't have such a great record. But Laurent, Lamont Roach is for real. Make sure you guys check him out. Um, little Montreal talent, one of my favorites, 17 and 1. Gislain, Manny Maduma, one hell of a fighter. And he's going to be facing a tough opponent, Maurice Hooker, um, who himself is now 18, and I think with two draws. So 18 and 0 versus 17 and 1. That's a solid fight. Gislain Manny Maduma looking to step up in caliber of opponent. And uh, Maurice Hooker definitely facing a strong challenge. Now, uh, that leads me to the heavyweights. Heavyweight fun, people. We've got Luis King Kong Ortiz, now 22-0, and 0, 
versus Matthias Vidondo, who's actually 20 and 1. And uh, King Kong is 22 and 0. So this is going to be, again, fun. Heavyweights, guaranteed somebody's hitting the canvas. Make sure you check it out. Now, um, the only other fight that's got me almost as excited as the Gennadine David fight would have to be Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez versus Brian Veloria. I haven't even checked into Brian Veloria. That is how confident I am in my pound for pound pick right now. Roman Gonzalez, just a beast, a beast. The kid's 43 and 0 with 33 KOs. Just one hell of a fun fighter to watch and um, cross my fingers people, wish me luck. Hopefully I will be there in the presence of this young man to witness him work in person. That leads me to the main event. And a main event it is. Madison Square Garden, a historic place. The IBF, IBO, WBC and WBA belts on the line. Two legitimate champions facing each other. Two guys with high KO ratios. And two guys looking to face the challenge of being a champion. It is a fantastic fight. This is stuff that people will be writing about for ages. Ages. This is my generation's Duran moment. Please, people, make sure you tune in and support our local Montreal fighter who's about to step up into the world of infamy for the boxing world. That's it for me this week. Make sure you guys go check out that fight. Wish me luck. Hopefully, I'll be there in person. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.